Hello booktube, this is Emma from Emma's Booker's Lifestyle and today is a currently reading and May TBR video. So I don't usually do a TBR but things have got quite busy and it's lovely in a way because I've got quite a few book buddy reads coming up especially in the month of May. So I've got some lovely books to read with other people and not just sort of bookish pursuits on my own which is great. So what I'm currently reading at the moment is um, this stunning edition. This is the naked hardback of Nevermore and I have to say that this beautiful edition of um, Nevermore by Jessica Townsend is fantastic. I am about coming up to um, halfway through. I can fully understand the comparisons to Harry Potter although what I like about it is it is very much a different series. First of all I love the fact that Morrigan Crow is uh, the female protagonist in this. You know she's a 11 year old girl, she's feisty, she's independent um, but she's also um, gentle and, and, and soft in some aspects and a little bit naive and new to the world and the things that are happening to her and I'm really really loving this book so I cannot recommend it enough to people. I know that um, recently at the booktuber meetup we were discussing this and Lauren from Lauren and the Books has got it. Trust me Lauren this is not going to make you fall out of love with Harry Potter. It's going to make you appreciate Harry Potter even more and it's going to make you want to start this new nine book series and oh my word I can't wait. I can't wait to finish it myself so that I can um, share the experience with, with Brooke. Um, oh excuse me poor organisation. So the next book that I want to try and read this month and finish is The Diary of a Bookseller. Now this I've been reading for pretty much well since I think pretty much since January I am again halfway through the uh, problem is it's, again it's a hardback and they're quite clunky to take around places so I've just been picking it up and putting it down at home but I really want to conclude this so um, that is my aim for May is to finish that I also have a book on my Kindle, I won't show you the picture of it because I don't think there is a picture actually, which is Chappie by Patricia Grace and that is um, the book for the May Around the World Book Club and this is the first book I've been able to join it in with Mel and the gang for uh, a buddy read and she does a link through Goodreads and I'm really looking forward to joining in on the conversation with that and hearing what people think of it which will be brilliant. Another book I've got is one that I recently um, posted on my uh, Twitter account and on Instagram which is Should You Ask Me by Marianne Kavanagh. This was kindly sent to me on request by the cup uh, publisher Hodder and Stoughton and this is around um, a story of an 86 year old woman and um, she basically comes to light based around the finding of two bodies and she's interviewed by a young man and um, it's intertwining both their secrets and, and kind of bringing that all to life. And this is based around um, World War II and as you know World War II is my thing. It's quite a slight book so I'm hoping to read that by the end of May. The next book I've got is The Accusation by Bandy. This is um, set in North Korea. And this is a book that won the English Pen Award and also is something that I am reading as a book buddy read with Ollie Bliss and Matt and I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that in May. Now we come on to the chunkster. <laughs> so this bad boy, <laughs> Les Miserables. This is uh, by Victor Hugo and obviously we all are fully aware of the musical. I haven't actually had the opportunity to read this gargantuan book. This is a the vintage edition. I'm going to be doing a book buddy read with Victoria from Eve's Alexandria. She's actually got the penguin edition but I don't think it's going to matter because we're going to read it in parts. Um, so I think this time to make it a little bit easier we're going to read it um, 
part one in May, parts two and three in June and parts three and four in July. So if you'd like to take part in this book buddy read with us, then by all means let me know um, in the comments down below. Maybe I can set up a Voxer group for anybody else who'd like to join. Um, but Victoria and I will definitely be reading this and um, after reading War and Peace with her last year and accomplishing that, I'm really sure we're going to have a great time reading this and knocking that off our giant classics list and also it means I can read it during um, the big book weekends that uh, Simon from Savage Reads announced uh, just a few days ago and last but not least I've got Ordinary People by Diana Evans so this is going to be again a book buddy read with several book fellow booktubers and uh, we're going to be starting that on the 14th of May and I'm really looking forward to that we're doing two chapters a day so as of next month, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six books, one ebook, and an audiobook because I've just started reading uh, The Hoarder by Jess Kidd on audiobook because it's easier for me to plug in and listen to that while I'm working at work sometimes. So I've got quite a substantial amount of books for me. Um, eight in total. That's a big one for me in a month. So that's a really busy month. Um, but a really busy month that I'm looking forward to doing the hobby that I love so what more can I say and it will save me a small fortune because I won't be able to go out anywhere because I've got no time I'm reading please do not disturb I think is the sign that I should be having over my head over the next month so I hope you're all well booktube I'd love to know what you're reading what you've got coming up in the next month uh, I hope you're well I hope life is treating you grand and I'm hoping by the time this video comes out that the sunshine will be back and it won't be raining anymore. Rain should happen in April. April showers, people. April showers, not May. <laughs> so I hope you're all well. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.